92.5. Brook and Jubal's second date update. You know, for the most part, long distance relationships only work out in the movies. Adult movies, specifically. <laughs> what? Long distance relationships always work out in adult movies. Uh-huh. Google it, Google it, but that's not no, important right you. now. Google that it. is a bad thing to have on your search history. Because Dresden is on the phone right now, and he apparently went on a date with somebody who's not calling him back. And it's actually kind of a long distance thing. I don't know all the details, but hmm. we'll get it from him. Dresden, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, what's up, man? You can call me Dres. Dres? Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you just wake up, Drez? Are you in a different time zone? You just sad? No, I'm good. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Drez, so what's the name of the girl you want to call today? Her name is Sierra. Sierra. All right. And your email said that she lives in another state? Yeah. I mean, we met online. Okay. So we hit it off right away. She was the type that she seemed really intelligent. She made me laugh. I made her laugh. Awesome. And we really hit it off. So I said, you know, you live far away, but maybe I could just fly down. We could actually meet in person, spend a little time together, see if it works. How long did you guys talk online before you decided to meet in real life? Uh, a few months. All right. Okay. So that's a good amount of time. Yeah, so you feel like you really know a person by then. As much as you can, right. you know, online, yeah. All right. So how was it when you actually went to go see her? Dude, that's the thing. Like, it was amazing. Like, Aww. the best day. So I went down on a Friday. We, of course, got something to eat. She, like, gave me a tour of the city. We walked around. We saw nature, like, went on a hike. But it wasn't, like, platonic. It was a very romantic kind of connection. You can tell. I mean, your whole personality, I feel like, just got uplifted even talking about this date. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. It was a great experience. I mean, so great that I had booked a hotel, but I didn't stay there. Put Uh it that way. Oh, that's nice. All right. Also so great that she's not calling you back. Oh, come oh, on. Jubal, you gotta Why do you got to let's, let's live in the moment, <laughs> Jubal. <laughs> well, I think this is the moment. Well, okay. Yeah. Why, let's live in the past then. <laughs> back to reality. Why, uh, why do you think she's not calling you back then? That's the whole thing. Because it's like, okay, when I was leaving, I was legit sad to go back home. Yeah. And, you know, we're at the airport and she's dropping me off. And I'm like, you know, next time you're coming to see me, right? And she was like, of course, you know. Yeah. That's a done deal. Of course, I'm going to be up there to see you. And then I get home. And initially we're texting and calling and everything, but then it just like slacked off after like two weeks and the text slowed down and the call slowed down. And I mean, I know she's a busy person. I'm a busy person. She's got a lot of friends, so she's got a pretty full social calendar. Right. But I'm like, this was an amazing weekend that we shared. It was not your typical weekend. Mm-hmm. I mean, did you feel like you were basically, I mean, I would feel like you're starting a relationship. Like that's more than a date to spend a whole weekend with somebody. I mean, that's how I felt, and I really thought it was mutual. It's not like we put any title on it or were right. in a full-blown relationship or called each other like boyfriend or girlfriend or anything, but that's the vibe that I was getting before I left. Totally. Was there anything awkward that happened when you guys were hanging out? I wouldn't say awkward. I mean, the deal was sealed, so... No, oh, right. Okay. That's unawkward. So it's a good sign. But maybe it's something. I mean, did you say something in the two weeks following that turned her off or made her rethink the whole thing? Trust me, I have combed over everything that I've said, all my texts, like trying to figure out <laughs> is it anything I could have said or done that turned everything sour, and I just can't figure it out. So that's why I came to you guys for help. Okay. Oh, and is she man. not talking to you at all? <laughs> It's like almost non-existent at this point, man. Huh. Wow. See, that's always something. When you go from texting all the time nonstop, right. you can just feel there's some kind of shift in the vibe. Right, yeah. It just seems like something's going on. I just want to know if it's not popping, I get it. But let me know something. Like, I'm just dangling here. Maybe it's super romantic and it was too much for her and she doesn't know how she could live without you and so she cut it off now (laughs) instead of later. I don't know. terrible logic. Whatever. I'm just trying to give... (laughs) That's comforting. I think it could be something good. (laughs) Do you think maybe it could be the distance? I mean, that's the only thing I could think of, dude. Like, maybe people are in their ear like, oh, it's never going to work because you guys are so far away. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an adult movie. They only st- <laughs> only stay together long distance in adult movies. But why wouldn't she just talk to you about that, right? Exactly. Exactly. We're adults. You're adults, and it's obvious that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Well, we'll play a song, and then come back and call and get your second date update, all right? Okay, man. All right, man. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. We're in the middle of a second date update, and Drez is on the phone. Today, he wants to call a girl named Sierra. They actually 
live long distance. They met online. He went to travel to visit her. They hung out for an entire weekend. He said everything went great. They even sealed the deal. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, oh you're not. I okay. have no idea. They, yeah, they. it was a contract. What sort of deal yeah, did you no. seal, <laughs> Drez? <laughs> I'm a gentleman, if nothing else. I'm a gentleman. No, right. A I still don't understand do. what you mean. Yes. Dude, they slept together. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like in the same bed? No. Oh, God. Let's just say yes. Tress, did on. you guys sleep in the same bed? <laughs> yes, we slept. Wow. <laughs> Hot and heavy. No, they definitely had a great time, and then he came back home, and since then, the conversation has fizzled off, and now she's not really talking to him, and he doesn't know why, because according to him, everything went great. All right, man, are you ready to give her a call and see why she's not getting back to you? Yeah, man, I'm ready. And did she ever indicate that maybe she was freaked out by long distance? No, but I mean, if it did freak her out, like I would think that would be something that she would tell me about before I flew all the way down to see her for our first date. Right. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Right. That is an expensive first date that you get. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dial her phone number right now. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Sierra, please? This is she? Sierra, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Who's this? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea why I'm calling you? No, no, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I don't know you guys. I'm sorry. I understand. I don't know even yeah. what you would guess. I just want to see what you would guess. <laughs> I'm calling you today because we do a segment on our show. It's called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out with somebody on a date and then end up not calling them back, they can email us to get you on the phone and find out what happened. And we got an email about you from Drez. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> he told us how he met you online and even traveled to come hang out with you, and he thought everything was great, but since he came home, you haven't been returning any of his calls, and he's wondering if he did something wrong. Oh, my gosh. What? Wow. Well, I mean, so it's like you, you meet people online, mm -hmm. and it's kind of strange, you know? And you just kind of hope you don't get catfished along the way. Yeah, that's... But yeah. <laughs> Drez was absolutely amazing. And he was everything that he said he was. So, no, it was nothing like that. Oh, my okay. God. So, so you sounds really like you liked like him. him. Yes, like, I, I have really strong feelings for him before he left. So, what okay. happened? Are you just... I mean, he thought, you know, maybe he's jumping the gun and he, you were just really busy. And that's why you haven't really talked to him? No, like, okay, so I have been at this crossroads, right? Mm -hmm. So I, like, had this big surprise that I wanted to surprise him with. I've just been so confused. Like, okay, so my job wants to relocate, mm -hmm. and it's close to him. <gasps> it's, in, you know, closer to that state, that area. And I wanted to get closer to him. I just didn't know how to do it, what to say. So Aww. you're just, are you just scared? Like, you're scared to tell him, like, Hey, I might be moving to your area. I mean, you know, I kind of felt like, hey, this could be fate because this has never happened. I mean, yeah. I didn't want to seem crazy. Yeah, it does yeah seem like fast. I'm moving in next door now. After one what? day. Right? <laughs> yeah, but like not talking to him, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> how is it going to be fate if you just don't ever talk to him again? Okay, well, there's this other situation. So I went out. Your um, husband has to move with you? <laughs> is that where it is? <laughs> no my god no i don't have a husband oh thank god right. so my friends they threw me a party and before my going away party yeah and it got so crazy okay. and i feel so horrible about this but i hooked up with another guy that night oh, oh okay but but so hold up so hold up the the moving thing is for sure because you said it was a possibility. So you are actually going to be moving closer to Drez. Yes, I want to. You know, like, I feel horrible about what happened. Okay. And so, honestly, I haven't spoken to either of them. All right, so you feel guilty for hooking up with another dude. It makes me feel so horrible because I know how I know how I felt about Drez. And I know the, 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 the weekend we had was, like, more than a freaking first-time meetup. Yeah, I heard you guys slept in the same bed. <laughs> 
Well, I guess we slept. <laughs> but Drez even said you guys didn't have a relationship defining talk. You didn't set boundaries for each other because it was, I mean, yeah, it was a big weekend, but it still was your first date. Yeah, well, that's true. The truth is, like, I really do care about him. I, and that it was more to me than a first date. I mean, who spends the whole weekend together on a first date? Right. Yeah. And we... We did such a great connection, so, yeah. And maybe you needed that hookup with the other dude to affirm everything you're feeling about dress. I think it was just a wild night. Yeah, and who knows? You don't even know that much about dress. He might like that sort of thing. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> we should probably ask him because he's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Um, I'm sorry? Drez is actually on the other line listening, he and he that. wants to talk to you. So he knows everything now. Yeah. Drez, you there? Yeah, I'm here, man. <laughs> oh, what up, man? How are you feeling? Uh, I got to say, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I mean, I, I thought we had, like, this cosmic connection, and I oh, haven't my... been able to think of anybody else. Oh, so, wow, I... uh, I'm blown, man. I... I haven't even been able to think about anything else but you, to be honest. Aww. Like, I'm just so sorry. I've just been so conflicted. I've been going through that and thinking about what happened and feeling horrible about that and thinking about you and moving my job, wanting to get closer to you because I totally enjoyed our weekend as well. Like, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I mean, if we hadn't been so far apart and we had, you know, established boundaries or something, then I could be more upset, but... You know, we didn't draw that line. We didn't say, okay, now we're an item. Yeah. So, but, I mean, I, I would like to know what's, what's the deal with you and this other guy. Is there some kind of future in that? Are you still Absolutely seeing Absolutely not. You're sure about Absolutely this? not. I'm certain of that. So, Aww. like, was he better than me? Oh, that is not a question you should ever ask. No, of course not. Nope, never. <laughs> I am excited about the thought of you being closer to me because, I mean, I was ready to risk it all. I got to be honest. Like, if there was a situation where it was a distance, I would have come down there. I mean, I just, I really felt like we had this just one in a lifetime shot going, and whatever I had to do, I was going to do it. So. Oh, man, that's so sweet. Dude, now that is intense. You were worried about freaking him out, Sierra. Yeah. The feeling is so mutual. Oh, best feeling oh, ever. I'm jealous. I love you, too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bummed out about this situation, but you're going to use your one get-out-of-jail-free card on this one. <laughs> All right. Well, then, Sierra, would you like to go on a second date with Drez? We'll pay for it. Not a plane ticket. Like, yeah. We'll What's give you a gift card to go somewhere to eat, but he has to get to you or you have to get to him first. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys would do that for us? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we do it for everybody on the second date update. So. Oh, come on. Come on. But, Make yes, we will. <laughs> we will do that. <laughs> Well, I did promise him that I'd be there the next time we had our date, so I'll, I'll be there. Oh, my God. When Aww. are you moving here? Well, my job moves within the next two weeks, actually, <gasps> so sooner than I thought. Oh, this well, is There you great. go. I'm Therese, so you got excited. a second date. Yeah, I can't wait, man. I got to be honest. I'm really relieved. This is a big surprise. So happy for you. And look at you guys are already creating a great foundation of communication and understanding and forgiveness. Yes. Hey, Drez. Yeah. Is this where we tell her that we slept together last week? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Man, Jubal, shut up, man. Don't tell her anything. Yeah, sorry about <laughs> Sorry to break the news to you, Sierra. Yeah. Congratulations, you two. Keep in touch with us and let us know how everything goes, all right? Thank all right. you. <laughs> all right, thank you. Broken.